Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Cyber Motors. Today's video, it's gonna be a little different. I haven't posted in a little bit, so I wanna do a little update on my 2008 M6. Just a quick review. my first time doing one of these so don't shit on me so basically three months with the m6 um we have some plans for her we have some springs waiting to be put on just wanted to update everyone how it's doing it's been pretty good i mean anything that is wrong with it right now is because of me but other than that this car has been nothing but great and to be honest i can't complain 2008 M6 S85 V10. It's it's a monster. That's what I'll say. But let's just get a cold start. So in about three, two, one. race exhaust it's pretty loud i want it louder though way louder x-pipe someone has to find me an x-pipe if anyone watching the video knows where i can find a super sprint x-pipe find it for me it's very cold i haven't touched it in about two three days i think i'm gonna head downtown just do some point of view driving talk about the car a little bit um other than that yeah i just moved her out of the corner um basically i'll tell you guys about a few of the mods i've done already to it some nice white angel eyes because the yellow one is uh, not that pretty already came with black wheels black um side vents i just um put these red buttons red m button and a red start button from ind i think that's about it for the interior the car came with a Eisenman race already. It's pretty loud. Want it louder? Obviously. Who doesn't want it louder? It sounds like a fucking F1 car. I got lucky enough to be blessed with this um, passport radar. I added this M license plate frame, you know, make it a little clean. I did change the M6 badge. I added an IND gloss black M6 badge. Sabre motor stickers, you know. And this is the beast. So basically this is the BMW S85 V10. It produces about 507 horsepower, 5.0 liter, about 383 foot-pounds of torque, which is just the basic setup for an amazing car. I think that's enough talking for now. So let's just go cruise. I know the video is just me today. Hopefully you guys like me. Just trying to get some content out there. We all got to start somewhere. I'm gonna probably gonna do some point of view driving with the GoPro. So other than that, here's the X6. You know, ugly, I'm just kidding, I love it. Let's go. All right guys, I just got to Lower Wacker. I hope the audio is all right. Um, there's some runs down here. Get some exhaust of the Eisenman race. Honestly, in my opinion, it's probably the best exhaust for this car.
guys I just um, arrived to the spot out so yeah right now I'm just to the parking lot I did some pulls in lower wacker it sounds mean the downshifts on this car are brutal absolutely brutal let me go inside the car because it's fucking too cold out here it's like 30 degrees oh. okay so I want to do a little story time Basically, growing up as a kid, my brother did have um, a E63, but a 645. And growing up, like, he would always, you know, drive fast, drift. And when I, when I was younger thinking of this car, I was like, Dude, this, is, this, had, this is the best car ever. And it was only a 645. So as I got older, I mean, I've always dreamt of having one. I always looked at them. But then, of course, you see on YouTube, all these videos, don't buy S85, V10s, M5s, M6s. People really shy away from these cars because they're so-called unreliable because of rod bearings, uh, Savannah solenoids, fucking all that stuff. And honestly, I have driven the car about almost 2,500 miles and it's done nothing but put a smile on my face and me needing new tires. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know what all the hatred's for. Everyone's too scared to own these cars. Everyone says they're too old. But 2008, whoever's had the car before me took well care, like very good care of it. I have um, basically fully loaded. I think the only option my car is missing is soft closed doors. Other than that, as the BMW individual speakers, the individual trim with the black piano wood, leather dashboard, extended Indianapolis red, everything. Redid the steering wheel. I'm honestly happy I got this car. Um, people think it's, I don't know how to say, slow, but it's not. It's fast as fuck, like fast. But anyways, continuing my story with the 645. Growing up, I've always dreamt of having one of these. Um, I have a picture in my phone of a white E63 M6, the Vorsteiner lip lowered, with um, basically exactly like this one. And the the photo says March 12, 2017, uh, 2012, and then eight years later. Now she has one, so it's kind of, it's more than a car at the end of the day, it holds a sentimental value in my heart and it means way more than that at the end of the day. As my friends know, like my friend Jovan, we all know, even Sabri growing up, these cars are legends and they're always going to be legends. For example, this is my brother-in-law's old E60. He had an M5. He got rid of it. He had an F10 for like three years. Now he has an F90 M5. Moral of the story is, 
I'm so grateful to wake up every day and honestly be able to drive this car. It's honestly a blessing. I've gotten hate. I know people talk bad about this car. Like people, I know people in the Chicago area. When I got it, I know people were talking shit that she got an old M6. Wow. And to be honest, I don't give a fuck because they don't know what it holds in my heart and the sentimental value. So at the end of the day, you gotta do what's best for you. And that's basically it. tell you where the spot is so basically when you get to the planetarium obviously you make a left so when you make a left and you make a right again obviously like you're heading to the planetarium but you're not so basically I'm gonna turn make a right up here make a right. and then after this stop sign the next stop sign you make a right stop sign and then make a right and then just take it all the way down but when you take a right here that seems like there's nothing here but there's a parking lot and there's a parking lot in the back when you reach the end you come to this building and it's basically just the dock I'll show you. Right here. You just put it in neutral. Let me show you guys this view. Look at that. That's just perfect. So soldier field, everything. And to top it off, the best M car ever made. I'm just kidding, not ever made, but. It's a legend. I was thinking make a make a video on how I clean my cars. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow morning. It's not a bad idea. But yeah, we'll head back home and uh, stay tuned for. Uh, we'll have some dessert. I'll, I'll give you guys some dessert. Okay. Just got to the shop. We're gonna do. I'm just kidding. We're gonna do some dessert. I mean, what's a video without a burnout, right? I mean, I'm not gonna do donuts because these guys decided let's just only do half of the parking lot and leave that shitty part. So I'm gonna get the camera set up, make some nice. What it's made for, you know? So set the camera down nicely and uh, we're gonna head uh, that way, obviously. All right, this is professional, pro professional driver on a closed course. Private property. Just a 2008 M6. Let's um, the tires. They're pretty warm now. That's good. So let's uh, let's get out of here. It smells like rubber. Um, that's it for the night. It's I started about seven. That's currently nine o'clock. If you guys don't follow my Instagram account, um, 
follow it at dash underscore e63 follow sabi motors do all the good things um hopefully that's the end of this video m6 has been nothing but good to me honestly um i am destroying it i destroy the tires um the front grill a rock hit it it broke i don't know but i've ordered new gloss black grills already tires march ish maybe next month you know um i want to order rpi scoops for the intakes um more steiner front lip rear diffusers carbon fiber side skirts and the little ones on the back bumper um lowering it and then probably i already searched up on beamer posts and stuff people have done a 12 millimeter spacers all around so it's flush so the fitment will be on point and I should have turned this on don't forget to like subscribe it means a lot thank you guys for watching whoever watched the video this far and don't be afraid of these cars that's the moral of the story you just have to get lucky enough find a nice clean one like I have be patient and you'll get what you want so, without further ado, until the next video, thank you for watching.